out for pendulums. They're being put in your spell and trap card zones. So make sure you can still set spell and trap cards in those zones. It's just you can only place pendulums in those zones as well. So, and no, you cannot set pendulums now. You know, I, I really wish because then you know if the rule was you could set pendulums, then anti spell would just become like I, I wouldn't say it'll become dead, but it, it wouldn't be like the the anti pendulum anymore. You know, it'll be like oh well, just set 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 set. Go ahead. And then my turn. Okay, I'm going to flip these pendulums up. Um, I, I honestly think that... I, I honestly thought that's what they were going to do. I thought they were going to find uh, make a, a rule where like, you could set pendulums in your scales. And uh, so that anti-spell wouldn't be such a strong card against pendulums anymore. Because we're getting Imperial Order back anyway. So I feel like nerfing anti-spell that way... Instead of just hitting it on the ban list, I don't think it, it deserves a hit. But um, I think nerfing it that way rather than hitting it on a ban list would have been a real smart move by Konami. And uh, honestly, I, I don't think there would have been that many people mad about it. Like maybe somebody who spent like $60 on a playset of Anti Spell probably would have been mad. But, you know, like, the, like, there are, like there were a lot of uh, Pendulum users that didn't feel like playing the deck anymore because they're like, oh, Anti-Spell just kills the deck, so it's like, there's no point. <laughs> but um, I think adding the Pendulum Monsters there, um, it does, it, it, it is pretty cool. Again, you know, you do have to be conscious of when you put Spell and Trap cards in those zones if you're playing Pendulums, only if you're playing Pendulums, because... Um, you know, if that card doesn't leave that zone and you need to place a pendulum down, all of a sudden you're stuck and, you know, you're like, oh my god, this, this, this and you're going to start cursing out the game, cursing out Konami, saying they're a bunch of money-hungry whores, you know, or something like that. Um, when that really isn't the case, it's really just, uh, they just added, you know, just changed the zones because they, they, they you know, like, it can, Pendulums were kind of unfair. Um, they did they do net too much advantage like late game because they just pendulum summon like so much and it's like it's it's like uh, like it's it's more of like a slow start type of thing unless it was like Pepe and we had a we had to have a emergency list for that last year and so I I guess like Konami just doesn't even want to risk it. Um, pendulums would have been actually way too broken with Link monsters. It, um, because uh, assuming that they work the same way as synchros do, um, you just would have been sent right back to the extra deck, summon out, out like your link monster in your link zone, I mean in your extra deck zone, and then you just punch them summon them again, and just another link monster, and it's like, it'll be way too much, alright? Like, e like, even if it only had that restriction. But on a side note, um, I don't think it's going to affect a deck like Magicians, because Magicians actually do, don't do focus on the extra deck as much as uh, some other Pendulum decks do, like Ignites. Like, it, like Ignites are done, right? Like, I'm glad they give us that spell card, um, that Cold Play uh, spell that you pop an Ignite on your scale and special summon an Ignite from your deck. That's going to be the saving grace. Like, if that deck ever comes back, that card is going to be its saving grace. But other than that card, I think the deck is going to have such a hard time now. Especially with these new rules, you, you're going to need some one extra deck monster. Sometimes you need a Beatrice um, to mill your Argent's Force before you go into your your Utopic Zexal. So that's also going to be a problem. You know, we're going to have to rely more on our main deck than our extra deck now. And um, although I, I I do, like, like I, I, I'm, I'm still not... Um, fully uh decided on how i feel about the concept i do i do think it, it will make the game better but personally like i um uh some decks i feel it helps a little too much some decks i feel it doesn't help at all it kind of just nerfs them for no absolute reason but konami does that sometimes they just say well you can take a hit for the better of the game like when rota was sent to one because of uh necroz like like they nerfed it like rota rota wasn't a problem it was the fact that Necros had so many searchers that made their deck so consistent that um, they, that Konami had to do something about it and limiting Rota. Um, although it did lower the power of a lot of warrior decks, it was mainly towards Necros. And 
I don't think they're going to bring Rota back to three, but if they do, that would be beautiful, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I said I wouldn't go into it, uh, into a discussion, but I, I guess I kind of did anyway. Um, but you know, that is pretty much, uh, the, everything you need to know about Link Monsters, um, I, I've kind of covered, uh, let's just, you know, go over it one more time. Uh, so first off, you know, Link Monsters, you need links, it's kind of like Synchro Summoning, except the materials, except you don't really need levels, it's just monsters required that has, um, and based on the summoning requirements of the actual Link Monster, you have to make sure that you still meet those requirements when you Link Summon, but if you have a Link Monster on board already, then you don't, you won't have to, um, uh, use like the exact number of links. You can use a link two and a link one. Uh, extra monster zone. Uh, you pendulum. Uh, you can only pendulum or special summon from the extra deck into your extra monster zone. Um, I did forget to mention that if you bring a monster back after being special summoned from the extra deck, then you can put it in your regular monster zone, which is pretty lit. I do think uh, Cypher Lord Omega uh, does get around that. So if you banish it, you could probably bring it back to any zone. Um, which is actually pretty lit. And, uh, the same for, like, cards like Stardust that, like, where you tribute it and it comes back. Um, that, like, that's when you can place it in, like, any zone again. Um, and, uh, also cards that are special from the extra deck that, that aren't properly summoned. Like, even things like Mass Change, like, you still have to place it in your extra monster zone. Like, if it's summoned from the extra deck, it goes in your extra monster zone. Um... And lastly, Pendulum Zones in your Spell and Trap Card Zones. Uh, so it's like, if you're playing Pendulums, just be aware that you probably shouldn't focus as much on back row anymore. You know, if anything, you should just focus on bringing out like a Link Monster or two. Because once you, once you can bring out a Link Monster, then you can bring out more monsters from the extra deck per turn. So it is kind of fair and... It doesn't net you as much advantage as it used to in a single turn. So, um, I, I do feel like uh, Sinet Switch does have its use, but it's like, it's so like gimmicky because it's like, oh, well, if I had Sinet Switch, I'll be able to switch this card from this zone to this zone and then Pendulum Summon from the extra deck again if I was using uh, Pendulums. But um, if not, then, you know, I have to wait until I do something with this monster to actually Pendulum Summon again from the extra deck. Now, you can still Pendulum Summon from your hand, and I'm telling you right now, um, because of that, Apex Avion is going to be so lit in the, <laughs> once links come out. I'm telling you, if, if you're playing a Pendulum deck, just, like, Apex Avion is going to be, like, a, a real problem for the game moving forward, because we're, um, the game isn't going to be as fast, so we're not going to be able to, like, just outplay it automatically. Um, and, you know, you just pendulum something from their hand, and just it just keeps going back and forth. It just cycles itself. Uh, they, they might even play, like, a Miss Valley Falcon or two, uh, just to make sure, like, sometimes they could get, like, two um, negates per turn instead of just one. So it, it's, it's something you have to look out for. Um, but it, I guess that's it for now. Uh, this was Nistro here. Uh, just inform you guys about uh, Link Monsters. Nistro out.